Today we're going to get the Corvette jacked up off the ground and then we're going to get to work on that tranny filter and gasket replacement. And then we're going to get the wheels and rims off at the same time and start getting the brake bleeding done and getting that brake fluid changed out that uh, we currently have in the system. I use a piece of wood and put it right in here like so. And I use that to jack up the car on so I don't damage the underbodies. And I try and make sure the jack is out of the way of where I'm going to put the jack stand. If you would, like the video, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Okay, we have it jacked up. We have all four tires off. I haven't started the tranny filter yet. We have changed out the fluid up here, and you notice, a lot better looking than it was. before you couldn't even see the bottom. Now you can. A lot of that sediment that was in there is gone. So now we're gonna start way back at the farthest point away, and that is the right rear caliper. And we're gonna try and get as much of this crud out of this line as possible. I'm going to be using a brake vacuum pump to uh, pull the brake fluid through the line to here. See what we get. It looks like Coca-Cola syrup coming out of that line. <laughs> Unbelievable. More Coke syrup coming out of it. Bubbles. You see the air bubbles coming up? I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, right there. I'm told that that's leaking past the threads. So, a friend of mine told me how to solve that. And I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna tighten that off, get this off. So a friend of mine told me a neat little trick to do to possibly solve that where uh, we're getting that through the threads. And that's to put anti-seize on the threads to keep that from happening. just a little bit and we'll check it out we'll see what happens break it I want that down this way boom 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 Let's see what happens now. No air bubbles. No air bubbles. All right, the brake bleed is done. 
all four corners starting at the right rear then going to the left rear and this is the rear reservoir for the rear brakes and then coming to the right front and then left front and this is the brake reservoir for the front brakes